Okay, my name is Chad Raglan with Apis Hive. I'm uh, here showing you uh, some queens that have arrived overnight. Um, definitely want to be home when they come or have someone there when they come to receive them. Uh, they're ventilated on the sides here, as you can see, and they um, are easy to, you can spray them with water, a little bit of water or a little bit of sugar water as they've, uh, you know, been on the road for the last 24 hours. So. I definitely keep it out of the sun, keep it ventilated, and keep it at room temperature if possible. Keep it away from insecticides, obviously. So uh, we're going to head out to the bee yard and get started on making nukes and uh, any of the splits that we might want to get going on. So I'll show you how we do that. Okay, we're out at the bee yard. And I've got two boxes ready. Those are cardboard boxes that are wax coated. Smoke the hive a little bit to get it going. Uh, keep all the bees in the hive. Um, try to keep as many from flying around. And uh, it's earlier in the morning here, so it's pretty cool temperatures. So after I got the uh, bees all ready in the video here, you have to bear with me because I'm flip videoing alone. But uh, we'll get started here. Okay, so before I get started, I put a uh, comb drawn out without honey that's in there, and then this one with honey, and put it in. So I've got two frames already in the nuke. Okay, so I pull out the uh, first frame here, and uh, you'll see some good signs uh, and, and some interesting ones that, that um, you know, there are enough bees on here to justify putting it into the nuke. Um, there's honey in the corners. The brood pattern is splotchy, but there are all three stages. Um, if we were to look closer, we'd see larvae. We see a little bit of drone brood uh, there in the corner on the left, the little the little popcorn ones. And then the, the ones in the middle are all the uh, regular female bees that will be born. It's earlier in the morning, so I think there's some foragers on here that that will be good for the nuke. Um, the queen's not on this frame. But uh, this is our first frame for making a nuke, and I'll put that in the box. Okay, so what I'll do is this next frame you're seeing here is uh, a really nice frame, actually. It doesn't have as many bees as I'd liked, but it does have a lot of brood, and that's what we're going for, is the brood. And uh, we've got, uh, again, some You'll see a little bit of white in the bottom of those cells there. That's uncapped larvae that's uh, matured. It's nearly capped. And um, on the other side, the, the brood pattern is really nice. So this queen is actually doing quite well still after a year of being in service. So we'll put this in the new box and move on. Okay, so this next frame I pulled out is uh, something I think everyone should know that we will not be putting in the nuke or a split. Um, it uh, definitely has a lot of fresh laid eggs within the last 24 to 48 hours which uh, could potentially become queen cells and eliminate the chance of our queen being accepted. So we return this back to the hive. Okay on our third and final frame it has less bees but it has a lot of space for a new queen to lay with a great amount of pollen and honey and the uh, third and final frame that we'll be putting in there has a little bit of brood and um, on both sides so this nuke is now ready for a queen. Okay so here we put a plug in the nuke and then we're ready to transport it to another yard. Okay so right now you see that I changed uh, locations. This is uh, actually different nukes but uh, the same idea here. I'm getting ready to put queens inside these boxes. Uh, in my little spray can over there on the left, you'll see I've got sugar water uh, and it's uh, got a little bit of the essential oils in there to uh, kind of cover the scent of any of the old queens that might have been in there um, with these other bees. Um, now that they don't have a queen, uh, we're going to cover up what they used to smell like and now we're going to put a new queen in that smells like uh, you know lemongrass and spearmint oil and a little sugar water and it gets them kind of working with the queen and um, you know, they realize she's there and, and start to accept her. So I'm just moving on to the next nuke. Um, it's important, one thing that I'll encourage you to remember is make sure you put your candy plug down. 
I like to do that. Um, the candy plug's on the bottom half here, and you're going to see me use the hive tool to kind of tip it down, and I just move on. So now that the queen is pointed directly down, and there's brood and honey and all that right there on those frames. So I'm kind of explaining that right there. Okay, this is just a quick example of a nuke where we had Italian bees, but we had released a Carnelian queen. You'll see her in the bottom of your screen real quick. Okay, this is uh, one of our nuke yards here uh, in Grand Junction, Colorado. And I'm going through these nukes to make sure that the queens have been released. And uh, I pulled the queen cage out just shortly before I started videoing. I should have videoed that, but... I pulled that out and then I'm um, just looking for the queen, looking for signs of the queen. Uh, I think this particular nuke had um, lots of good signs, it had fresh eggs um, and some cat brood still that, um, you know, all, all the signs were pointing that the queen had successfully been removed. As you can see, I'm not even wearing gloves. Usually the temperament of hives that are queenless are a little bit more feisty. Now, not all frames are created equal. This particular frame does have some drone brood in the middle, but uh, you know, it has a lot of cat brood that, uh, on either side. So I think you have to have to be um, reasonably excited about this um, particular nuke. You've got the queen, she's released, and she's doing her job. In fact, I think I see her right now in the lower half of the frame, and I'm gonna point her out for you. She's right She's gonna come out. She's evading me, sir. She's, yeah, she's on the other side. So she's just moved to the other side and moved right up. And there she is. That's an, uh, I believe that's a Wooten's Golden Queen. All right, so I'm gonna flip this lid. This new here is about two weeks old. It's just um, getting started. Um, it's doing quite well. I think it's uh, pretty nice to see the labors. The fruit of your labors. <laughs> uh, that's a wooden cage queen box that comes out, and I think this is going to be a Wooten's golden queen. Um, one of the things about nukes is you got to remember that uh, they progress slow, but once they start getting really established, they can grow very quickly. Nukes are a great method for uh, getting honey um, this year. Um, these five frame nukes will go into a single deep in probably less than three or four weeks um, into nine or ten frames um, and um, anyway I think we'll see a queen here yep there she is up top so anyway one other thing too you want to make sure you strap down your lids and if you have any other ideas or thoughts you can visit us at our website at www.apishive.com thank you